Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it ensures you to create a new company with the Odoo 15 platform. The user can develop and configure all the company information from the settings of the Odoo 15 platform. It is easy to store the records and data of an organization after creating the company information in Odoo. Now let's look out how to provide the data of your new company in Odoo 15. One of the standard software setting tools to enhance the Odoo system efficiency is Odoo settings and each module in Odoo contains several configuration settings and the Odoo dashboard consists of the settings option. So we can choose the company's menu from the user and companies tab of Odoo 15 settings and the user can see the list of all the created companies from the company's window. We can create a new company data by clicking on this create icon and in this new window we can add the company information and here we generate the details of a demo company. So we can enter the company name as demo company. Then here we can choose the company logo by clicking on this image option on the windows right side. And inside the general information tab, we can add the address of the company, including the house number, street, state, and the city. So we can enter the address. Here we can provide the house number. Later, we can add the company's mobile, phone number, uh, website and email. Then the user can also add the tax identification number inside the VAT field. So it is used in legal statements and when the contact is under government taxes. After that, we can choose the currency and the company. Uh, so we can choose the currency from the drop down menu. And here the company favicon shows the image to display a favicon for a company and it is possible to select the parent company for a company from the parent company field. Then the user can also add the social media account links such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and more accounts for a company inside the general information tab. Then we can set the intercompany rules for your companies by choosing the rule from the intercompany transaction tab. The rules are categorized mainly into five types. The first one is do not synchronize, which means the user cannot synchronize your company with any other companies. By enabling the synchronize invoice or bill option, a bill or invoice generate quickly when another company confirm the invoice or bill for a company. So a new field will appear. Here we can choose a responsible user for document creation by intercompany rules. The third rule is synchronize sales order to assist in generating bills or invoices when a company confirms an invoice or bill for a company. So here you can enable the automatic validation and choose a responsible user from the create as field. By activating the synchronized purchase order, we can develop a validated sales order using warehouse walls when a company confirms a purchase order for your company. So you can choose a warehouse as a default value set on the purchase order based on sales order made to your company and it is possible to activate the automatic validation and select the user inside the create as a field. The last rule is synchronize sales and purchase order which enables you to generate a validated purchase or sales order using warehouse when a company confirm a sales or purchase order for your company. After adding all these details we can move to the VAT unit tab. So the user can add the tax unit from the VAT unit tab. So we can select the add a line option and a tax unit window appears before you. Here we can choose a tax unit if any record exists, otherwise we can develop a new tax unit by clicking on the create icon. Here in this new window we can apply the uh, tax name.
and then you can choose the country in which the taxing unit is grouped with your tax declaration of companies later select the companies that are members of this unit then you can select the main company uh, that is paying and reporting the taxes after that we can enter the tax id as an identifier used when submitting a report and click on the save and close icon so you can choose the company that needs to function for your business process here so by selecting the uh, particular boxes you can uh, choose multiple companies for the activation process in odoo 15 now let's create a bank account for the company for that we can go to the odoo 15 accounting module and select the add a bank account menu in the configuration feature So we can choose the bank in the new window or click on the create icon to generate a new bank account. So a new window opens before you. Here we can add the bank name or bank identifier code and the account number. After that you can use the create icon and your new bank account for the company to generate efficiently. After that we can create a tax for the respective company. For that purpose we can go to the taxes from the configuration menu of odoo accounting dashboard and in this taxes window we can access the de tax details such as tax name tax scope company label invoices and active so the create icon ensures you to generate a new tax for your company so here we can provide the necessary details So it is easy to create the details of your company with the Odoo 15 platform and the user can manage one or more companies at a time with the advanced features of Odoo 15. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.